Hey everyone, welcome back to the place on the internet where we test every mask in the world. That's right, all 6,223 of you got your back. And uh, interesting, today, well not today, probably a long time ago, because these things stack up on my desk and I get to them eventually, uh, I got a, a letter from somebody with really bad handwriting. I think you're from Washington State, not DC. You sent me a lot of masks. I, I'd read the letter, but it's not really a letter. It says, I wanted to test you a few, uh, I, want, I wanted you to test a few masks our hospital systems use. See how they stand up. Uh, and then it lists the different mask types. So I got a bunch here. I'm gonna go through these one at a time, starting out with, I mean, yeah, this thing's gotta be worth a lot. This is a 3M 8233N100, that's right. The N stands for, and N95 stands for uh, non-oil, and the 95 stands for 95%. So this is supposed to test, uh, uh, pass 100%. The crazy thing about uh, the N100 is it actually has a much crazy, it's a much crazier test than what we're gonna do here. Um, the seal has got to be absolutely insane on that. And while we've gotten a lot of things on this machine that have been 99.99999, never gotten 100. So excited to open this up. All right, so here's the bag. It comes sealed very nicely. Open it up. It's got the instructions. I mean, look at that. That is like, it's legit right there. All right, well, I'm, this, machine, this one has a valve. You may have heard that the CDC says, uh, you know, not to use valves uh, because if you're breathing out, it can uh, expel uh, COVID if you happen to have it, uh, which they now say you can fix by putting a surgical mask over the valve, which would save the rest of the world from your nasty COVID breath. Um, so I'm gonna put this in our machine because with the valve, if I put it the wrong way, obviously, <laughs> particulates will just shoot right through. Um, but if I put it the right way, which um, if I can just remember, is, is up like this. So, uh, because the way that this machine works is it uh, actually is, it's actually pulling air as if you were inhaling. Um, so I'm gonna put it this way on the machine. And I'm just thinking out loud here, so forgive me. Let's do this, put it on here like this. That looks good. And we'll let it rip. So the 3M N100, um, wow, holy cow. I actually don't know the standards for N100, but if you look at this, this is crazy. Look at the airflow resistance, 590. I mean, that's like, like N95 for inhalation uh, is uh, 250 pascals. And this is showing at 566. It's really hard to breathe through, like almost impossible. And, you know, we're doing the N95 test. We're using uh, 0.3 micron, um, averaged particles uh, for uh, NACL mixture. And uh, we're just right at the 99%. Now this is gonna take an average over time. So it could be that we get back up to the 100%. But right now, we're not quite there. I've actually had N95s, I think, that have hit higher than this. If I'm looking, the highest that we've had 99.93 is the 3M9210 Aura mask. And this is right about at that. And then right after that, uh, the highest, actually Indiana face mask, N95 was tied for that. It's pretty good. Mm, I don't know. With that breathability, like, oof, I wouldn't want to use this, but you wouldn't use this in a hospital anyways. So, I'm looking and it's selling for as much as $275. Uh, 
This is insane. Look at this. Someone's selling this for this mask for two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Oh, it's for a box of twenty. So that's oh, about thirteen bucks a piece. Expensive mask, especially since it's um, not reusable. So this has got a whole like strappy system that I think I need some sort of a degree to put on correctly. So I'm just gonna. Try this. It smells delightful, that's for sure. And this, wow, this nose wire is insane. This, uh, that's crazy. Crazy. It doesn't feel like it's that hard to breathe through, so I'm wondering why the, it pinged the test that much. That's pretty crazy. Oh, I know why. Okay, so the way that, so I don't think that that uh, airflow resistance is accurate because um, what what we're doing is we're testing just for ease. Uh, we created this uh, this little uh, apparatus here that makes it so that we can really easily add CAN 95s and N95s on to test them, and it's only testing that surface area. So we have the machine set up to pull air and test a certain uh, amount of surface area, and uh, I think a lot of it has been taken up by this thing, and so that's going to skew the airflow test. I don't think that's fair. Uh, but let's take a look at the uh, the PFE. I'm actually surprised that it got this low. Uh, the efficiency is 99.952. Um, I would think that an N100 would get a lot higher. Who knows? Uh, could be the storage. I don't know how old this is. Um, this this bag. I don't know. But at 99.952, I mean, you know, are we really like? It seems like it's a pretty good mask. I don't know. Seems like it's kind of a hold to do though. Like there are plenty of other masks, like the KF94s that I probably do. All right, well, this was probably the least exciting video I've ever done. So if you're still watching this, like I've said this before, but you should really consider like a hobby, maybe gardening. All right, I'll catch you on the next test. Thank you so much.